Thanks for joining us, and let's get started. Welcome to our series on achieving business and relationship success. This episode will talk about loving yourself to love others. We'll discuss learning where self-love comes from, how you can avoid egoism, why it's important to love yourself to love others, embracing your shadows, and what truly loving yourself means and the hard work it takes. As usual, we'll introduce you to your personal challenge, which is designed to get you in the habit of practicing things that are healthy for the new you. Ready? Awesome. Let's get started. With that, we invite you to get settled in a place where you can digest this information without interruption or struggle, clear your mind, and get ready to take the next step in a vital transformation. Let's start with a brief moment of silence to focus and meditate on what you're about to learn, receive, and practice. session I would like to talk to you about you know love yourself and by that to be ability to love others now the question of course that you're asking yourself where do we start how do I start loving myself is there is a technique if there is a way where I can build myself to love myself because only by loving yourself you will be able to release that energy of love toward others so how do we go about it? What is that we need to know and do so we will be able to love ourselves? Coming from the idea that, I'm not saying you don't like yourself, but kind of the idea that you wanna love yourself more. So it's either you wanna love yourself more or either that you, know, you don't love yourself and you wanna raise that level to be able to love yourself so you can share and be kind to other people. So there is three area of the inner communication that we have. One is in the mind, one is in the words, and one is in the action. Now, the mind is what are you thinking about yourself right now? What are you thinking about yourself? Are you judging yourself? Are you don't like something you did yesterday? You gotta change the mindset. You gotta start speaking nice to yourself in your mind. And how do you go about it? Just basically close your eyes, or open your eyes, or just speak to yourself without moving your lips. Say good things to yourself. And don't be busy if you deserve it or not. Build it up. Speaking good to yourself in your mind. Then the second stage is just talk to yourself by using your lips. Speak it out loud. You know, tell yourself how great you are. Some people use the method of the mirror. Standing in front of the mirror, looking to yourself, and doing what Robert De Niro did in his movie, The Taxi, are you talking to me? But instead of saying, are you talking to me? You look at the mirror and say, you are amazing. You are the best. I'm totally into you. Speak good to yourself. You know, it's a very important thing. Then come the action. The action, like I said before, take yourself to dinner. Take yourself to breakfast. Take yourself to lunch. Take yourself to a basketball game. Take yourself to whatever you enjoy and say, on the way there, speak to yourself. Speak like that. I'm taking you now to a basketball game. I'm taking you right now to a dinner. When you arrive, say, that dinner is for you. I want to tell you how much I love you. It's almost like you're talking to another person. Remember, mind, talk, and action. Those are the three ingredients that you have to do to yourself to fulfill that battery that's called love so you will be able to share with others. The second thing that might happen, as you're doing it and you get into it, you're gonna love it. You're gonna start loving yourself so much, it will be unbelievable. Sometimes the side effect, there is side effect with that, and the side effect that the egoism might get in. And what do I mean by egoism? Meaning you start feeling you're the only person that exists. Ego can go both ways. Ego can say to you, I'm the best person, but ego can go the other way, I am the worst person. Whenever there is I, there is ego. So it doesn't matter if you are the worst or the best, it is ego, because you're busy with yourself. So how do I go about the idea that after I build myself up, I'm doing it for me, I'm doing it for me, I'm doing it for me, is there is room for others. 
And that's the magic. Once you fill up yourself with love, remember, the purpose of filling up myself with love is that I can share with other people. So you always have to think about, after I feel better about who I am now, after I love myself, after I achieve that goal, then who I'm going to share that love with. That's how you avoid egoism. Because egoism can come from a place that it's all about you and you only. It cannot be like that. We are loving ourselves, and some of us need to love ourselves, almost like a, a, a make a difference. You know, in the hospital, there is an emergency room, and there is a regular place where the patient needs to go. Emergency room is when you're really crushing yourself, when you really cannot stand yourself. You don't like who you are. You have to raise the level of love immediately. But it doesn't mean that you stay in their emergency room for the rest of your life. Time to come out and share yourself after you've been super healthy, share yourself with others. That's what love yourself is all about. And that's why eventually it will help you to love others. Well, as you start loving yourself and as you start sharing with others, then you can discover that there is some area about you that you don't like. Let's call it the shadow. Let's call it the inner demon. Let's call it the evil inclination. I don't care what name you're giving it, but this is the area in you that you either try to avoid or forget or not dealing with, or you embarrass even you have it. For example, when I was working in a, in a rehab for two years, writing a few curriculum for them, I happened to work, it was my privilege, it was my, one of the best moments of my life, to work with people who are addict. Addict to drugs, addict to sex, addict to food, alcohol, pills, and wonderful people, like unbelievable people, perfect people, but they have one little shadow that's destroying their life. That little shadow that they are addicted to, you know, cannot let them go with their life. Now, why are they doing it? Did you ever ask yourself, what is addiction? I mean, of course, the 12th step and all the things, but what is addiction? And they asked me to describe it when I'm coming from a place which is totally out of the box, out of the 12th step program. How do I come up with explanation to it? And I define it like that, and people like it there. I said, people who fall into addiction have so much love in their heart, they want to give so much love that they start loving also the wrong thing, not just the right thing. They love everything. So even if they love the wrong thing, they give love also to the wrong thing. There is no boundaries. And when you don't have boundaries of what you're loving, then things start to go wrong. That's one kind of shadow. Second type of shadow, it's a self-judgment. When you start judging yourself, when you start looking to yourself and find out what's wrong. A lot of time, when you're working on yourself, when you start developing the level of love, you're gonna be 70% okay, and you're gonna be 30% not okay. If you're gonna focus on the, that 30% not okay, unfortunately, you're gonna go into dark, place, dark places that will be very difficult to climb out of it. Because that 30% of dark places, you're gonna get stuck. You're gonna focus on the 70% of your goodness, and then slowly, slowly, the 30% will disappear. You can fight darkness, but you can turn on the light and then darkness will go away. Shadow, if I look at my hand, I'm gonna do magic now, right? Inside my hand, I can see it. There's a shadow right now. Look what happened, gone. Am I a magician? The shadow is gone. Where is it? Gone, not here. What did I do? Did I fight it? Did I talk to it? No, I just bring more light. So when you find a way to bring more light into your life, which is love through words, through thought, through, through action, you will understand that that negativity that you have internally, it's there to make you grow to the next level, that you're gonna love yourself with your fault. And by loving yourself with your fault, eventually that fault will go away. Whatever it is, extra body weight, or jealousy issue, or anger that you don't like about yourself, you promise yourself never to get angry, and six months you did well, and all of a sudden, six months and one day you are screaming and yelling again. You have to change it. But it doesn't mean to hate yourself because you have anger issue. Fix the anger, but don't hate yourself because of that. The anger is just like, try to imagine I propose to someone, 
and I have a ring in my hand, that ring fall into the mud. If that means that ring is bad, I gotta clean it and it's the same ring. So when we have shadow, when we have dark spot in our life, that's like us falling into the mud. We still a precious diamond, a precious ring, we are amazing. But we have some issue that we have to remove. Don't hate yourself because of that. Love yourself with your fault, with your shadow, and step by step change it if you wish to do so. Love yourself mean that you are happy to be in this body with this kind of mind, with this kind of thought, with this kind of life that you want to have for yourself. I mean, if you're not happy with that, don't hate yourself for that. Just change whatever needs to be changing. So you can come to a place when you don't like the person that you are. If there is area in your life that needs changing, let's work on some changing. Let's do something about it. But don't hate who you are. And it's very, very simple. What is it hard for a person to love themselves? Because we have tried to imagine there is two angels talking to you. One on your right shoulders, one on the left. The one on the right shoulder is telling you how great you are, how unbelievable you are. The one on the left shoulder is telling you what's wrong with you. Unfortunately, there is a little problem. The one who speaks positive to you is whispering. The one who tells you what's wrong with you is screaming. And you need to overcome that screaming voice. Because the one on the right shoulder is telling you how great you are, telling you in that voice, you are amazing, you are so special. The one on the left shoulder is screaming, you are the worst, I can't believe you gained 25 pounds. What are you going to do about it? That voice is screaming. What are you going to do? Avoiding it? It will keep screaming until you deal with it. So you got to understand that you have to overcome it. You have to talk to it. That voice is not going anywhere. You have to tell that voice, hey, listen, I know I gained 25 pounds, but I'm still the best person that I was before. I'm going to take care of that 25 pounds, but that does make me a bad person. That doesn't make me a terrible person. I have issues that I have to work on. So I'm embracing those things, those voices that come to me so I can overcome it. And by overcoming those things, I am start loving myself until I even convert the angel on my left side to love me as well. And this week, the way I'm going to challenge you will be something incredible that you're going to do toward yourself. If there is part about yourself that you don't like, there is a secret way how to love yourself unconditionally. I want you to find the person in your life that bothers you. Somebody that is close to you, but not close enough, and you, they bother you, you keep judging them. I want you to work on loving that person with their fault, with their shadow, and the reward for that will be that you will be able to love yourself with your stuff, with your shadow, with your negativity. That's the challenge I wanna give you for that week. When we talk about to conclude this session is to come into a place with our fault and with loving others. And the way that we practicing loving ourselves, the reward of a person capable to love themselves, like it say, love the neighbor as thyself. When you love the neighbor, when you practicing loving people around you, the reward for that will be love yourself. been another episode of Vital Transformation's Guided Sessions. For more information, visit us at vitaltransformation.org where you'll find access to all of our guided sessions, content library, weekly updates, and upcoming events. To keep content like this new, relevant, and free to the public, make a donation today at vitaltransformation.org slash donate or write to us at donate at vitaltransformation.org. Thanks for joining us and we'll speak to you soon.